do it one more. Here we go. Ready? Nine, you rolling. One, seven, thirteen, forty. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rodney Crowell here at Fleeroy's House of No Low Inn recording the audio book of Chinaberry Sidewalks, my new memoir that's going to be published January 18th, 2011. Enjoying myself reading the book. New Year's Eve, 1955. The four beer blitz couples dancing in the cramped living room of my parents' shotgun duplex were wearing on my nerves. In particular, I didn't like the sound of their singing along with my prized Hank Williams 78s. Coon hunting with my grandfather, I'd heard blue tick hounds howl with more intonation than this nasal pack of yahoos. For a while, I tried contenting myself with sticking my fingers in my ears and staring squinty-eyed at the scruff mark patterns forming on the linoleum hoping a likeness of Jesus or Eisenhower, the only famous images I knew of at the time other than old Hank, as my father and I referred to our favorite singer, would stare up at me from beneath the dancer's feet. But when all I could summon was a swarm of black, stubby snakes, I gave up and went back to being in a funk. The next thing I remember... Cookie Chastain was screeching to be heard above the scratchiness of whichever record she had just gored with the blunt end of a phonograph needle. Twenty minutes till midnight, everybody changed partners. And while the rest of the gang bumped around and groped for whom to dance with next, she was making a big deal out of sashaying into the waiting arms of the one man whose lust for oblivion I knew could turn this little shindig into a repeat of my worst nightmare. How did I like narrating? Uh, once I got the hang of it, I liked it a lot, and I wanted to redo the whole book, but not enough time. Do I think having read this book will inform the way I write from now on? Yes, I do, because from now on, as I told you, Mr. Director, that I'm going to write three-word sentences from now on, maybe six, and that's going to be it. If it's longer than six words, I'm not going to write it because <laughs> I'll have to read it. Of course I'm kidding. This is my main man, Mono, who smells like a dog. <laughs> he pretty much acts like a dog, but he actually was the assistant producer on this project, helping Scott get all, everything down and keeping his company. A man and his dog. 